In, um, how many, I haven't had the opportunity to check it out, but in all the wind towers that are out there operating right now countrywide, how many fossil fuel plants have been actually shut down that generate electricity? I, I don't know, um, but there uh, there were studies done, there are studies being done all the time, um, both prospective, for example, in Sheffield, um, the economic studies, wherever it is here, um, the economic issues, one of the things that they looked at was, uh, or <coughs> environmental issues and economic issues was, and actually did a very, very detailed study there looking at the actual Vermont grid. They looked at it for, I don't know if it was hour by hour or whatever, but actually looked at it in terms of where is the power coming from during that hour, and based on the profile of what they would expect the wind farm to generate, if that's plugged into the grid, how much of what it replaces is actually fossil generation, and then how much greenhouse gases does that reduce? The reality is in Vermont, we are very, very clean. We have very little contribution to greenhouse gases um, based on our, our electric generation sector, and that's great. Um, if Vermont Yankee isn't relicensed, if Hydro-Quebec is less available or not available, our best option is probably going to be gas turbine or buying power from other sources. If we have new renewable replacement sources that are going to be good and, by the way, price stable for 25 years, that would be a good thing for the, I think, that would be a good thing for the state to do in anticipation of the fact that we could conceivably over the next 10 years lose two-thirds of our now clean uh, generation. Vermont Yankee, I'm saying, is clean on a greenhouse gas basis. We can get into a debate with the fellow with the hat over uh, other definitions of clean relative to, to nuclear, but on a greenhouse gas uh, basis, uh, it is clean power.